not pizza. No, definitely, definitely not. No, no. Gotta get in shape and gotta look after yourself. Because when you eat good food, you feel good and you look good. Cue music. I'm just kidding. I don't have any abs whatsoever. But it's fine, it's not like I'm upset about it or anything. I'm, I'm alright. <laughs> I want abs. But like I said, I'm fine. It's all good. I don't mind that I don't have abs. It's okay. He wants a summer body like that anyway. But anyway, going on to what I'm talking about today. Today I'm going to show you my super awesome red smoothie. Why is my smoothie super and awesome? Two reasons. One, I'm a pretty awesome person and because I'm making it, makes it awesome as well. You're welcome. And two, it's super because of all the ingredients I'm using. It's because you can get them from local supermarkets. You don't have to trudge all the way to like an M&S or a Waitrose or a St. Therese. I got all my produce from Aldi. Gotta love Aldi. Affordable, cheap, good quality. Hey, ticks all the right boxes for me. Can tell you that. Now, without further ado, I will show you the smoother. As you can see, I've got all my ingredients laid, laid out. And today for this smoothie, I'm going to be using three bananas, a whole avocado, 12 dates, a handful of kale. Ugh, I hate kale. One whole beetroot. I've got some black forest fruit, so like frozen fruit, so you can just pick from the freezer. I've got some mango, papaya, and pineapple, also frozen. And then I've also got some strawberry and banana mix as well. Now, oh, and some honey, just in case I need to sweeten it up a bit. Now, now, and with the ingredients, you want to start by putting in the light stuff first, and then working your way up to the heavy things. The reason for that being is that if the heavy stuff are on top, you know, gravity does its job and pushes it all down when you're mixing. So I'm going to pop in my kale. Da, 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 da. And I'm gonna start popping in the dates. With the dates, make sure you de-seed them. As you can see, taking out this seed and popping it to the side. Pop that in. So that is the kale and the dates in. Next, I'm gonna pop in my avocado. So I'm just gonna scoop this baby out. Uh, ah, get out. So, as you can see, I've got quite a nice good couple of layers. You can see I started with the light stuff at the bottom and worked up to the heavy stuff at the top. It's ready to go. Oh. One more thing before I put it on the blend is to put some water in it. The water will help it mix around and makes it less thick. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the water level on this, but it's right up to here. I'm gonna start with just a little bit of water to begin with because you don't wanna to add too much water or it's gonna take away from the taste. And it's just not nice. You just get, you're just left with like a really watery, yucky, flavorless smoothie. And there's nothing super or awesome about that. So, ugh. So be careful on how much water you put in. It's always best to start with a, little, with a small amount of water and then add some in later. So. so that is my smoothie all done. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's a really nice red. Like, I love this red a lot. And this is all from the beetroot I put in there and from the black forest mix that I put in there. So all those berries and beetroot has really helped with that color. So now all I've got to do is taste it. Fingers crossed, it's actually nice. Let's see how it is. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, mama. That's some good stuff. Wow. I'm glad this is all for me now. <laughs> this is really good. I really like the flavour in that. And if you noticed, I didn't even put any honey in there. And it, to be honest, it doesn't need it. The natural sweetness, it's gotten from the banana, the dates, the berries, all that sweetness right there, already in it. So I so that is my super awesome red smoothie. Smoothies, not even red ones, but smoothies in general are a really good way for you to get all those nutrients and vitamins into your body. And they taste delicious because it was up to me 
there is no way I would be eating kale or beetroot just, just sitting on my plate. Ugh, I would rush mother, rush, oh my gosh, much rather, can't even talk now, much rather have it in a smoothie and just get it down me and that's it. And it's also a good way to get your kids in it as well. And just to test it, to see if my smoothie is really good, I'm gonna let my little brother taste it and he better like it. <laughs> come on, babe, come on. This is my little brother and I'm gonna um, give him um, some of this brother. to try. You're not my big brother. He thinks he's my big brother because he's gonna be taller than me, but he's still my little brother. So I want you to try some of this and tell me what you think. Yeah. What do you think? See, it looks like Great. I... Yeah? See, it looks like I forced him to say that, but I really didn't. He really does like it, I swear yeah, he does. You, you guys, you should eat healthy what, what my sister says. It's eat healthy smoothie. Oh, I didn't even tell him to say that. Thanks, B. That is all from us today. I can't even say me. That is all from us today. And I will see you next time. Peace. <laughs>